Peter yes, and James were prayer partners. Right. And it's good to have a prayer buddy, someone you can pray with, not only gossip with, yes, but someone you can uh, share prayer with, someone you can pray for in a critical hour. Yes, sir. Peter and James did not have money. Mm -hmm. They didn't have wealth. Yes, sir. Uh, they met a man begging in front of the church. Yes, sir. Uh, like not on today, we'll see someone begging and might tell him, move on out the way. Uh -huh. But uh, Peter and James uh, decide to have prayer with this man. Mm -hmm. they, they saw that the man needed uh, a helping hand, and he didn't, he didn't realize what he really needed was prayer. Yes, but he sir. thought money and wealth will take care of all of his problems. And sometimes we think that money will solve all the problems. Yes. But money won't solve all the problems. The, it may create trouble mm. in your life. Mm. Let's say amen. Yeah, amen. Sometimes wealth and power will bring problems in your life. Yeah, you're not ready for it. That's why you need prayer amen. in your life. Mm -hmm. That's why the word say man should always pray. Yeah and not think. Because without prayer, you, you, you're going to fall by the wayside. Mm -hmm. You got to pray. Have a prayer hour. Uh, not necessarily at a certain time, but it's just good to be able to pray at all times that you possibly can. If you could pray on your lunch break, it's all right. Mm -hmm. If you could pray while you're sitting at your desk, if you could pray on the job, well, if we can pray in the White House and pray in the Senate, uh, why can't we pray in the schoolhouse? Huh? If, if, if Obama and all of them could have prayer in the White House, why can't we have prayer in the schoolhouse? But Ronald Reagan took prayer out of the schoolhouse, and that's when trouble came in. Let you say amen. amen. I know what I'm talking about because I was there. That's right. That's right. I'm old enough to know them. Yeah. That's right. Ronald Reagan took church out the I, I took prayer out the school. Well, you should have church in school. All right. <coughs> that ain't wrong. There ain't nothing wrong with having a little church inside the schoolhouse. That's right. That's, thank you, Rev. That's where you needed that. You need church in the schoolhouse. Maybe us ministers, we should be able to, uh, excuse that language, we should be able to go to the, to the schoolhouse and, 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 and preach a little. Yes, sir. Let's say amen. Yeah. yeah, we should be able to preach at the schoolhouse and pray at the schoolhouse. Right. Because that's where the problem is. Yeah. The problem is at the schoolhouse. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not in your house. Mm -hmm. you you trying to handle your house, but when they leave your house, that's when trouble starts. Yeah. When you send them to school from the first to the fourth grade, everything is fine. Then all of a sudden you see a change in your child. Right. You begin to say, well, what's, what's wrong? Mm -hmm. His grade was good till he was in the fourth grade. Mm -hmm. When he got in the fifth grade, she got in the fifth grade, something, mm -hmm. something went wrong. Mm -hmm. The problem is at the schoolhouse. Mm -hmm. I know you don't like this kind of talk, but uh, uh, we just talking about where we need to have prayer. You, you, you know, we, we have prayer in the church house, but we need to have prayer on the street. On the, have prayer on the street corners. Have prayer on the city buses. That's where we need prayer. We need prayer in the jailhouse and in the church house and the schoolhouse and the White House. We need prayer in them places. Not just money. Money will solve some problem, but money won't solve all problems. No, like the brother right. said, money right. will create a problem create for you. Problem. You get enough money, you'll have many enemies. <laughs> you get enough wealth, you'll have a whole lot of problems. That's right. That's 
if you don't know how to handle it. You got to pray when you have money and wealth. That's right. That's right. Because money and, 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 and knowledge come together spells power. Right. But if you don't have prayer inside there, then you, you, you got a, a, a problem on your hand. Yes, sir. That's why many folks have all kinds of trouble and you wonder why. Oh, well, what's wrong? She's a big movie star and that's happening in her life? There's no prayer. That's right. Even Michael Jackson will tell you he was a Christian. And he's still a Christian. You know that Michael Jackson, he uh, was a Christian. Yeah. And uh, any, any athlete or big time uh, person, they got to have a minister in their family somewhere. Yes, sir. They got to have some prayer. He was a Jehovah Witness. Thank you, brother. Amen. Michael Jackson was a Jehovah Witness. He, need, he knew he needed God in his life. And for a man to draw that many people to him, got to have God to do that. You don't do that just on talent. That's like Obama. Obama got God on his side. We looking at God is on the scene today, baby. God is on the scene today. Obama ain't doing this by himself and with a bunch of black votes and white votes. God is in the middle of this. He's handling in this. When you thought about 45 years ago, 1963, Dr. Martin Luther King was preaching, I have a dream, Obama was in his mama's womb. His mama was carrying him in the womb. When the king was making his speech, his speech 45 years ago. You see how God operates? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He was being hidden, like the sister said in Sunday school, uh -huh. with mother. Yeah. He was being hidden in his mama's womb when Dr. King was preaching. I have a dream. Yeah. Now you could really say the Declaration of Independence do mean something. You don't have to tie it up. You know what I mean. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> now it means something. Yeah, we got a Declaration of Independence, and America belongs to all of us. Matter of fact, we're the only heroes in America. That's right. And if you just want to bring it on home, the black woman has done more in this country than anybody. My heart, my heart go out to her. When I think about my, my sisters, yes, sir. How, how, how they have to take care of their families and take care of other families. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And being abused all at the same time. Yeah. Nobody yeah. want to be abused. Yeah. That's right. Good teacher. She didn't like what she had to put up with. Yeah. And I couldn't, I couldn't help her because my hands was tied. Yeah. She was being drugged by her dreadlocks. And I was tied down. Yeah. But my hands is all tied down. That's right. That's right. Now Obama can roll like a lion like he's supposed to roll. Yeah. And let somebody know that, yeah, we have a dream. Right. Yeah. yeah, we do have a dream. That's right. We want more than our 20 acres and a mule. Mm -hmm. Oh, amen. <laughs>